everyone so uh, as requested i'll be doing a couple of videos on how to run the cobot you know basic operations uh, basic things that you can do with the cobot and stuff like that starting off with what the cobot is i'll talk about the cobot a bit uh, in particular now this particular cobot is a universal robots ur5e and universal robots is a uh, company based in denmark and uh, the ur5e so uh, how the naming scheme works for this particular model is so you are obviously means universal robots the 5 means the maximum payload or you could say the maximum amount of weight that the robot can take so you have you are 3 you have you are 5 you have you are 10 uh, the e is essentially so uh, the series before this was just you know you are 3 you are 5 you are 10 but this uh, new this is a newer series so this is a you are 5e and what makes it different from the old you are 5 is essentially the addition of a talk sensor over here so which you with which you can record uh, the forces and talks that the end effector is experiencing which wasn't there in ur5 and in addition to that you also have a better your resolution for uh, the robot it's more precise and you have better hmi system uh, which is a human machine interface so basically it's better it's just an improved version of the ur5 in every way now uh, coming to how so this particular setup is made by mac educator so the mac machine tools and automation is a company which is based in bengaluru and uh, they very helpfully uh, provided this uh, setup for us so it's just a basic setup where students who are conducting uh, lab so we have robotics lab 1 and robotics lab 2 which are two labs conducted by our mechatronics department and through those two labs the students can learn to use the cobot as well as the abb irb and how to start it up is very similar to how you'd start up an industrial robot it's just a bit simpler especially because this is explicitly an academic version so they've tried to make the startup process easy as possible but the usual process uh, to how you actually start a robot is so obviously you have your main power supply in this case it's a single unit but imagine you have a line of you know 10 12 robots or something in let's say one workspace cell so obviously you have the main power supply for each cell and uh, you have this operator panel which is essentially a plc which essentially uh, controls the robot the the same control scheme or the same procedure is followed over here uh, it's just that we don't have to deal with actually manipulating the plc because what they what mac has done for us is they've included this very helpful simple you know uh, switch over here so i'll just show the inside of the thing in a minute so this is essentially the inside of how the plc looks if i open the abb it look probably the same this has a lot more connections because of all the other things that we can run on this but uh, that's essentially how uh, it looks on the inside and to start it up it's very easy you can you just need to do this now it's currently off so let me just turn on the mains yeah so as you can see moment i started up the mains the plc is lighted up and now on to the teach pendant so uh, one good thing about this uh, so the programming language that the ur5e uses is ur script oh, actually all universal robots robotic arms they use uh, ur script which is their own uh, developed programming language and the hmi that the teach pendant uses is based on linux which is where everyone knows how versatile linux is and how you can use it practically any everywhere so that's why they chose to take uh, linux as the base because it's also very easy to integrate it with any other systems that you'd want to do like let's say ros which is primarily linux based or let's say even any other sort of software that is linux based since it's very versatile so since it takes a lot of time i'll just skip ahead to when it actually starts up okay so it's finally started up and this is essentially what you see uh, first time you you know start up the teach pendant so i'll just go over the you know interface in a minute so what you can see here are all the various modes that you can use uh, for uh, it it's basically gives you an overview of what you can program the ur5 to do or the entire setup to do so obviously run so this is your main screen that you would probably show when your program is running in case if you are running it externally so uh in the case of our so the setups that we do usually for during the labs 
is usually just manual uh, you know programming where we manually program the robot to do certain actions and uh, we run it but in case you want to use this robot as part of a more uh, elaborate installation with let's say multiple robots so you have three modes which were uh, automatic which is essentially what is there right now you can't so i can't change anything over here unless i initiate manual control which is a uh, manual override and remote control is essentially manual control but i'm not using the teach pendant i am using let's say a laptop or a computer with uh, this ur5e hmi software installed uh, like i mentioned it's linux based so you can only get that thing on linux system so if you're running a windows computer you'll have to use a vm for the same and so i'll just start this up a bit so this is the usual uh, this is a five step you know startup process that the, the ur5 has the abb doesn't have this sort of thing you just have uh, you know uh, the usual start and then run but the reason this is there is so you can have the safety configuration fit in so right now the software is booted up and now once i start this once i press the start button what's going to happen is so right now how the ur5 is stationary is because each motor has a brake on it so the moment i press the start button you'll hear a, an audible click which is when the motor's brakes have been deactivated so i'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this so that series of clicks that you heard in case you heard it is uh, the sound of the brakes disengaging so now the robot is ready to move and so this is essentially how we start up the ur5 now after this uh, to take it just one step further before we actually can proceed to programming it i'll uh, initiate manual mode which is essentially your manual override through which we can control anything we want on the ur5e through the teach pendant so i'll just enter the password in a bit okay so now manual control is enabled and as you can see these two you know icons have were grayed out before but now they are not so that means i can do whatever i want code any uh, program that i want uh, the installation so i'll go over all these uh, in a future video but for now this is essentially the startup process of the ur5e